everyone! I am going to show you today two different ways that I can make yogurt and afterwards I will tell you the pros and cons of each and which one is my favorite. So let's jump in with the stovetop method. Okay, this is the stovetop yogurt. I basically have just thrown a half gallon of milk in here and I've got it on medium heat and going to bring it up to a boil. I do have a thermostat. I really like this little thermostat and it's instant read so I can put it in and know how hot it is and that's for after it's come to a boil and I'll put the recipe link down below you leave it and then make sure it's the right temperature it's not exact but you know in the ballpark and then I add in my yogurt I also have some whey that I've accumulated which is the pour off of your yogurt and I am going to add in some extra probiotic. Elroyton is from the super gut. I will open up these tablets, mix it in probably into the whey, and then this is going to be room temperature by the time that I add it. Pour all that into there and then I will show you because with the Elroyton you actually are going to do it a much longer um, fermentation time. So most yogurt is about six hours. This he recommends 19. I will not do 19 but it's going to be a much longer time and I'll show you how I keep it closer to the right temperature so the probiotics can continue to grow. So I've opened up all of these tablets and put them in. It's just under the two tablespoons that they say you should have and I will add it into my whey, stir that up and once my milk is at the right temperature add in my yogurt and then I will show you how I let it ferment. So my milk has simmered and cooled off and now I mix in my yogurt along with the extra probiotic that I have and I just stir that up very quickly. I don't worry about it too much. And then I'm going to show you how I let it ferment. And I actually did up the time and I am going to leave it the full 19 hours I decided because I have with the time schedule overnight it works well for me. So I will show you how we keep this at roughly the right temperature for the 19 hours. So I have now wrapped my pot that has the lid on it in this warm towel. This is warm. I had it running for about five minutes beforehand and I will shut it. If it needs a warming up, I can pull the pot out, turn it on for five minutes and put it back in there. But I am going to see if it's good. I will check it with a thermometer of what the temperature is probably before I go to bed. So about halfway through, just over 12 hours in to the 19 hours. So I put the yogurt into these two containers. You can see it is beautiful consistency. I had it for about 12 hours in the dryer. And we are going to have our first taste test. And it's not as thick as it could be, but that's because it's the first batch. Once you get into a couple more batches, it gets a bit thicker. But I'm sure that the taste tester will not complain. Apparently it's pretty good. So next is the crock pot method. Hey everyone, today I am going to show you the easiest recipe. The hardest part is you have to wait. <laughs> um, that's all this is, is basically adding ingredients and waiting. So the very first thing you do is take a half gallon and I like grass milk. It saves you so much money on making your own yogurt. To me, you might as well buy the good quality milk and have great quality yogurt. So I'm just going to pour this all in and I am going to, once I have it all in there, turn it on to low on my crock pot and put the lid on and you have to wait for two and a half hours. 
Two hours and 30 minutes, starting now. So I set my alley timer so I don't forget. So I put my yogurt back in the fridge. I'll show you when we pull that. And it's 3.30 in the afternoon right now, just so you have a reference of when I started this versus when we finish tomorrow. So you can time it for yourself and plan when it fits into your lifestyle to do this. So step two is really easy. Leave the crock pot exactly as is and unplug it. And measure out your yogurt and leave it on the counter. So there's my half cup and I leave it there so it will be room temperature in three hours time when we're going to put it in there. And that's it for step two. Three hours, starting now. So it is nine o'clock and we are going to take off the lid and add our room temperature yogurt to the milk that is now cooled enough so it's not going to scald the yogurt. And we'll get it all in there, grab a clean fork and just stir it in. And then once you have incorporated the yogurt into there, we are going to cover it and wrap it in a towel to keep the temperature warm. So there's the crock pot wrapped up in a towel and I will leave it there overnight for 12 to 18 hours and we will check in on it together in the morning. Okay, here we are the next morning. It is 10 a.m. and we are going to take a look at our crock pot yogurt. Now, the longer you leave it, the thicker it will be, but it will also be more sour. So, you can see here, it is beautiful. This liquid is the way. We are going to save this liquid. I'm going to put all of this into containers, and as I take it, I'm going to be leaving the way behind, and then I just pour that off, any way that's around the edge, into a separate container. I save the whey and I use it for my next starter. You can freeze it and use it for your next starter. So it's very flexible. You can use it in baking biscuits. You can use it replacing water in things that you're baking or cooking to give like probiotics. And I also put it and feed it to our dog. So I didn't quite get it all in this container. I had to do a little bit of overflow. And just for perspective, from now on I don't have to buy yogurt. I can use leftovers as my starters, whether it's the yogurt or the whey. This, all I have to buy is the milk, which is around $5. This is almost $5. So it shows you how much more I can make for the same price and you know exactly what you're getting because you are not getting anything added to it. Not only am I making more, but I can have this where I could turn it into ricotta cheese. I can use the whey for all of the different things that I mentioned and many more. I just think it's a wonderful, easy way to have <laughs> way, no pun intended, to have this yogurt in your fridge. And we go through a lot and now it's super easy. I love some of the different ways that I use my yogurt is my Owen powder and it makes it a dessert. I love it with berries and there's just some, you could do honey, you could do so many things with it. Add it to a cereal if you want, make it a parfait. I really enjoy yogurt and so does our golden retriever. We feed this to her on a daily basis. So it's wonderful to have in the house. So I definitely prefer the crock pot method for a few reasons. <laughs> I always seem to scald the milk on the bottom on the stovetop method. No matter how much I try to go slow, it just doesn't work for me. The crock pot method to me is super easy. You dump in the milk, you come back two and a half hours later, unplug the crock pot, 
put your yogurt out when it's cool to the proper temperature, stick in the yogurt and leave it overnight. I do wrap it up in towels or you could put it in the dryer. Now, I am seriously considering getting either a sous vide or probably an Instapot which has sous vide and yogurt and all different capabilities. The reason is when you add any prebiotics or probiotics, they will multiply more the longer you ferment it. So I read the book Super Gut and it recommends 36 hours fermentation time. I can't hold the temperature that it needs for that length of time without a sous vide or Instapot. If you were only to add one prebiotic, I cannot recommend enough this prebiotic inulin FOS. Now, FOS has a big long name that it stands for. I'll put it on the screen. If you put this in your yogurt, it multiplies and you don't need to add it up every time. You have it in the starter batch. You could just take this and add it to store-bought yogurt, but I love making my own. We go through a lot. Maggie, our golden retriever, loves the yogurt. It's really helped with this, with her bowels and my bowels. It makes your gut microbiome, the lining, thicker. The healthier your gut is, the healthier you will be. And this is amazing. The other perk, benefit, uh, unexpected side effect, it fills you up. You will not be near as hungry. And I think it's because my gut lining is now healthy. Since I started doing this, I've lost eight pounds and I haven't changed anything else. I probably eat a little less just because I'm not so hungry, but I would say it's more about my gut being more efficient. So highly recommend this and I'll put a link below if you're interested. I cannot encourage you enough to do yogurt. It's something that I've started doing every single morning. I sometimes add my chocolate, either uh, collagen powder or protein powder and a little bit of stevia and it's delicious. Sometimes with chia seeds, sometimes with blueberries. It's like a pudding. It's just so delicious and healthy, which is wonderful. So let me know below if you've made yogurt or if this would encourage you and motivate you to make your own yogurt. Thank you so much for spending time with me. I always appreciate it and I hope you're having an amazing day. We'll talk to you next time.